I got started practicing functional medicine when I got really sick with chronic fatigue syndrome. And I went to doctor after doctor, got no answers, and realized that I wasn't crazy, there was something wrong, and that my traditional training as a physician didn't provide any of the answers. So I found a small nucleus of experts, scientists, thinkers, really innovators in healthcare who were rethinking disease and rethinking medicine and providing a different story about why we get sick and how we get better. And I began to apply it on myself and got better and I began to apply it my patients and they got better and I realized that, that the whole story wasn't being told about medicine and that the future of medicine was functional medicine. And so I began to really move in the direction of, of studying it, learning it, becoming an expert, and really trying to extend this so that it actually becomes the standard of care. So most of the chronic lifestyle diseases, diabetes, heart disease, even many cancers, autoimmune diseases, inflammatory problems, are often caused by our poor quality diet. We call it the standard American diet or the SAD diet. By shifting your diet to a real whole foods, mostly plant-based diet, you will literally change your biology almost overnight. One of the fundamental tenets of functional medicine is that food is information, that it's medicine, that it literally has the power to change your biology with every single bite. It can change your genes, it can change your hormones, your immune system, it can regulate your gut flora literally with every bite. And so by choosing foods that create healing in your body and eliminating foods that create inflammation and, and harm in your body, you can actually create health without treating diseases specifically. You know, functional medicine is a study of biological networks, which is how we change biology, using food and other interventions. But I began to realize that one of the missing links was, how do we change behavior? And it occurred to me after going to Haiti that people could get better by using the power of community. That Paul Farmer had shown that he could cure TB and AIDS not by better drugs or surgery, but by using the power of each other. He called it accompaniment. We accompany each other to health. And the power of community support, of peer support, of people helping people, is what actually changes behavior. So we did a social experiment with a large church in Southern California. 15,000 people lost a quarter of a million pounds in a year doing it together. Those people who did it together lost twice as much weight. And not only that, all these other conditions went away. Migraines, asthma, irritable bowel, autoimmune disease, arthritis, diabetes, hypertension. All these problems went away simply through the power of community support. So food is medicine, but also community is medicine. The community is part of the cure.